In the past 30 days, this educational kids channel made anywhere from $1,000 to $20,000 by posting faceless animated videos about various topics. For example, this video about naming fruits has over 137 million views and is getting 15,000 views every hour. So in this video, I'll show you how you can easily and for completely free create animated faceless videos using my best method yet. And just so you know this can be applied to any single niche. So the first thing you need to do is get your video ideas. You can get ideas by coming over to ChatGPT. Now once on ChatGPT you're going to ask it for this prompt. Give me 20 simple video ideas for a kid's educational faceless channel. And as you can see, it has gone ahead and given us 20 wonderful ideas. Now, once you have your video ideas, the second thing you need to do is come up with the video scripts. So once again, go to chat GPT. Here you want to ask it for this prompt. Write me a short script for an educational YouTube video titled, and then you're going to insert the title of your video. And then it says the video should. And then over here, what you want to do is talk about what your video would be about what you wanted to include, and then the target audience is, and then you simply insert your target audience. So in my case, this is how I would fill this. Write me a short script for an educational YouTube video titled Name the Fruits. That would be the title of my video. The video should in here I said include basic fruits and naming them and how to spell them. And then that's target audience's kids. That's how simple it is to use this prompt. Then hit enter. And now, as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead and given me a great script. So I am just going to copy it from here and pasting it on Google Docs. I have edited the script to make it short so that this should not take too long. So now the next thing you need to do is create the characters for your animation. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using Canva. Now, once on Canva, just come over to this section and then simply do a search for YouTube video and then hit enter. And then once you've done that, you're going to click this one which says create a blank YouTube video. And now it's going to take you to this scene where we can begin creating the characters. And I swear to you this part is super easy and also super fun. Cause you get to be really creative. So now our video is about fruits. I have three fruits and apple, a strawberry and a cherry. So the first thing I would need to do is get these elements. Now, in order to do this, I would come over to this section where it says elements. Now, once on elements, I can go ahead and search for the fruits I want. So the first one is an apple. So I do a search for apple and then click on to where it says graphics. And then you could scroll through all these options and choose whichever apple that you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So my other elements were the strawberry and cherry. So I'll do the same exact process to get all my characters. So now, as you can see, I have all three of my characters. Great job. But this isn't really giving anything special. It just looks like three fruits. Instead, we need to actually try to bring them alive. So in order to make them look like actual characters, we need to give them some body parts. So once again, you're going to go ahead and do a search for cartoon face. Once you've done that, you can see there's many different faces. Let's give faces to this fruits. Similarly, let's search for cartoon legs. Make sure the legs you select follow in the same direction. And now I am going to give the legs rest of them. Then let's go for cartoon hands and give them hands. Since the apple and strawberry hands are overlapping, we need to make the apple a bit smaller. So let's select all of them and press Ctrl plus G to group them and then make it a bit small. And there we have it. Doesn't it look super cute? And that's how easy it is to create your character. And now once you have your characters done, it's time to download them. Make sure to download them in PNG file, not a MP4 file. Now it's time to move on to the next step. So now the next thing you need to do is animate them. So in order to bring them to life, we're going to be using this tool called Animated Drawings. I'm going to leave a link for it in the description. Now, once animated drawings, it's going to take you to this page. And on this page over here where it says upload photo, you want to upload the photo of the characters that we just downloaded from Canva. From here, you want to click next. 
and then it's going to take you to this page where you now need to select one character. So we're going to just adjust these lines and select our apple first and then hit next. And then once you've done this, it's going to take you to this page where it's now outlined our apple. Now you need to make sure that your entire character is actually outlined like this. If there's a piece of the background, you can click the erase button and then you can erase it. Now we don't want to erase this. So let's undo after that click next. And then from here you need to adjust the main points on your character. It mostly gets this well, just click next. Once you've done that, it's time for the magic. All you need to do is click next. Voila! Look at this, our animation is done. But as you can see the legs are looking a bit weird. To fix this I changed the legs of our character with this in Canva. Make sure there is a gap between the legs, and also facing at same direction. So after doing this you can see the new animations. Look at him just walking across the screen. And now, here's a great thing about this tool. We only had to do this once to generate him once. And then on this side under here where it says add animation. There's around 30 different animations you can let him do, which would be more than enough for you to create an entire animation. With practically any movement could think of. And in order to change the animation, it's as simple as just clicking on the one that you want. And then from here, you would go back to your script and then figure out the different movements that you need your character to do. Find it from here. And after you're done, you can just click here to open it in a full screen. And then from here, click on this three dots and then download. So in the same way, I also made the animation of strawberry and cherry. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Now as our animation is done, it's time to move on to the next step. The next step would be getting the voice for your video. In order to generate the voices, we're going to be using 11 labs. So I assume everyone now knows how to generate the voice using 11 labs. After signing up, you'll come to this page. I am choosing the voice Gigi since it's best to make children videos. And here put your script. After that, click generate. And that's how easy it is to get the voice over. Congratulations! Because now there's only one step left in order to do. The final step you need to do is to come back over to Canva in the same section where you generated the characters. Because what you're going to do now is put everything together to generate your amazing animation. So first upload the animations that you made and then upload the voiceover that you made. Then I am going to upload the voiceover in the timeline. Now as our first fruit is apple, let's first select it. Here I am choosing a white background since the animation background is white. But you can also choose a different background. After you remove the background from the animation video, you can use this tool called Unscreen for background removal. Then I am going to go to text and then add heading. Then I am typing guess the fruit. Let's style the text a little bit. And I am also giving it text animation. Then copy it and on the second text write the fruit name as it is apple. Also, I am giving it a different style. Then right-click on it. And from here, select Show Timing. I am going to start it where it says Apple. Let's see how it looks. Hello, can you guess what fruit am I? I am Apple! Then again, I am going to copy it. And here, I am writing the spell. Let's give it some styling. Then click this three dots and then Show Timing. Start it when your voiceover started to spell it. Let's see how it looks. Hello, can you guess what fruit am I? I am Apple. A-P-P-L-E spells Apple. Pretty adorable. You can unleash your creativity and make something more creative than this. So 80% of our work has been done. We don't need to do everything from scratch. Just select everything, then copy it. Go to the next slide. And here, paste it. Just change the fruit's name here instead of Apple put strawberry. Also change the spell section. And here change the apple video with the strawberry one. In the same way I made the video of cherry. So to make it more engaging I am going to add some transition. Just click here and add transition here. You can see a lot of transition you can select. Let's select color wipe. And then here select apply between all pages. After you are done download it as mp4. And this is how it looks like. Hello, can you guess what fruit am I? I am apple. A-P-P-L-E spells Apple. Can you say it with me? Apple. Great job. Now let's move on to another fruity friend, Strawberry. S-T-R-A-W-B-E-R-R-Y spells Strawberry. <laughs> 
So as you can see it looks super cute. For the sake of these tutorial I showed you how easy it is to make this kind of videos in the simplest way possible. But you can take a step further and add more creative touch to it. You can also use this videos to get inspiration. As you can see this simple video gets 7 million views and also still getting more than 400 views per hour. The opportunity in this niche is endless. So go ahead and start your YouTube career with this simple yet powerful niche. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.